One thing I would want to do, probably have a bottle of Penfolds Grange um, and be and 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 be have a big table of delicious things and all of my loved ones around the table and just have a really loud delicious meal with everybody that kind of went on and on and on for hours um, there'd probably be a dance party um, but I would just find yeah as long as the people I love could come back to me that's very selfish come to me um, and somewhere sort of quiet and removed and um, somewhere beautiful to see out the end I think that'd be pretty perfect It would be, it would be a pretty, it would be an apocalyptic playlist. Um, I think there'd be a range of music from sort of, you know, beautiful like Bonnevere and like calming things and then there'd be some like, probably some Rage Against the Machine creeping on in there. Um, I would just set uh, a soundtrack to the last hours, I think. Room for party and then room for some quiet time as well, some reflection. Well, the actual end of the world in the film, uh, when we shot it, it was Nathan and I on a wobble beach in, in a wobble board in, uh, in Perth. Um, so we're standing on the beach in this sort of weird uh, earthquake contraption, sort of clinging on to each other for dear life, but pretending there was a fireball coming towards us. So that was actually more of a giggle than it should have been. Um, we were both just kind of hoping that the special effects uh, would, would work, because otherwise we'd look quite ridiculous. Uh, standing on a wobble board. I would hope that I come to a point of acceptance in the way that she does. I think she's very at peace with herself. I think it would take me a little bit longer to be so at peace with myself and at peace with my uh, mortality in that way. Um, but I would just hope at the end that I was accepting and that I was calm and that everything was okay. You don't want to be you know, facing death and being terrified, I guess. You know, finding peace before it happened would be all, all, all anyone could ask for, I would think. Mm. Oh, he's brilliant and just so calming and supportive. I, mean, I, knew, I knew Zach because we went to the same university a few years ago, um, but we were a couple of years apart, so I'd never worked with him at all. Um, and then got his script through when I was in LA and just like, just loved this script and was so affected by it. Um, and then it just, it was just all kind of, I mean, for something that's so heavy in content and subject matter, it was just so effortless and, and, and organic. Um, and I think it's just because we were on such a, in such a supportive space so the the team that is Zach and Liz should always be a team they're in Liz the producer um they're just amazing but from from the minute we started rolling in the camera like we Nathan and I just had like a great time and and Zach was so sure about what he wanted like uh, I don't know if you'd like me to tell you but a, a, a few of the, the the scenes like you know they we did one take on something and he'd be satisfied and moved on and so you know, just about trusting him and whether, you know, the, knowing that he got what he wanted. But yeah, we'd do a take and he'd be done and, you know, move, move on um, because it just kind of worked very easily, which it doesn't always happen that way. He's a cheeky monkey generally in life. Um, well, because we, I was the first uh, week of the shoot, so he kind of we started out together and then he went on this massive journey that I had no a, no part in, which is why it was kind of amazing to see the film and see like, oh, that's what you guys were doing for the rest of your time there. Um, but just, he just brings this amazing positive energy. So we would, you know, on a lunch break, we'd just take a towel and go sit on the beach and make friends with like these local kids um, and just tell stories. And But we did giggle our way through a lot of it. I think you've got to you've got to be able to giggle through something so bleak as the end of the world, otherwise you're going to take yourself too seriously and you're going to, it's just going to be completely inaccessible anyway. Um, so I don't, I don't know what mischief he got up to in the rest of the shoot, but we had some fun.
They would be sand, wine, and naked. <laughs>